this is Patrick with New Nation, and in this video I'm going to be walking through New Nation's new plugin called Rhea. Rhea is a four layer sample instrument with built in effects and a vast sample library. So let's dive right in. Right when you open the plugin, the default patch is going to be a basic 808. That sounds great. And as you can see in the middle of the plugin, you have your preset library. On the left, you have your categories, your different types of instruments. And on the right, you have your actual presets that you can click on and it'll change the preset. Cool, that all sounds great. And let me go back to my default patch. In these four quadrants, we could see our four layers. Right now, only layer one is activated. If you wanna activate the other layers, you can click on where it says layer two, three, or four to activate them. If you want to change the sample in that layer, you can click on this drop down menu and this gives you access to the sample library. There are plenty of samples to choose from and a lot of these are multi-sampled. You have stuff like bells, bass, brass, guitar, keys. We have like three versions of the Yamaha DX. We have kalimbas that sound great. And if you're into synth sounds, then we have a lot to choose from. We have the basic shapes. We have sine wave, sawtooth waves, pulse waves, square waves, and triangle waves down here. And we have a clean and dirty version of both of them. And these waveforms are all multi-sampled from my Moe grandmother. So this is a great starting point if you're into synthesis. Our first knob is the gain knob. And if you look underneath our preset browser, you can see the detailed view of whatever knob you're hovering over. So this is the gain knob for layer one, and this is the pan knob. Over to the right, we have transposition by semitones and a fine tuning in sense. Underneath that, we have our amplitude envelope. We have an attack knob, hold, decay, sustain, and release. So attack is gonna be how long it takes us to get to the maximum volume. Hold is gonna be how long we're gonna hold that maximum value. Decay is gonna be how long it takes to get to the sustain value. So if my sustain is at zero, then this decay is gonna control how long it takes to get to that sustain after our hold value is over. And the release knob is going to control how long it takes for the signal to die off after we release a note. So I'm going to change it to a sawtooth wave. And let's go into the EQ section. So each layer has its own individual EQ. And if you click anywhere along the frequency spectrum, then you can add an EQ band like this. If you right click that band, then we can delete it or we can change the type of EQ. So I'm going to go ahead and put a sawtooth wave on each one of these layers now. and then I'm gonna activate them. And when we start layering multiple samples, you wanna be careful about gain staging each one of them. So I'm gonna turn down each one. So now I'm gonna do some panning. I'm gonna pan this one all the way to the right, this one all the way to the left, and maybe this one off a little to the right. 
So that's already sounding a bit thicker. So now let's try and detune some of them. Cool, so now we kind of made a super soft reset. Now let's get into the effects part of this plugin. Under Dimension, the main knob is going to control a saturator, compressor, expander, and limiter all in one knob. So as I turn this knob up, the signal is going to become more like in your face. If we want more of this effect but don't want it to clip, we can, we can turn down our master volume. Let's move on to the gain LFO. So this is going to be a sine wave LFO controlling our gain. And we have two parameters to mess with, the tempo and the mix. As we turn the tempo up, we could see on the left, the rate is changing. So let's set the mix to 100% so we can hear what's going on. And let's set this to a quarter note. In Logic, my tempo is set to 120. So the LFO is moving at a chord note at 120. If I change the tempo, if I change the tempo on my DAW, then that's going to change the tempo of that rate. I'm going to set the mix to about 35% just so it gives me a subtle change in volume. Underneath that, we have our pan LFO. Same concept, but this time the LFO is going to affect the pan instead of the volume. Over to the right, we have a high pass filter, a low shelf, a high shelf, and a low pass filter. So this is going to sweep out the low frequencies. Now let's head over to the space and time effects. This main knob is going to control delay, reverb, and chorus. We have a stereo delay that's set to whole notes by default, and then we have a chorus rate knob, and then we have the same parameters we saw in the dimension effects. And notice that when I mess with these parameters, it's only affecting the wet signal. And when you're ready to save a preset, just go into whatever category you want to save it in and click add right here. I'm going to call this super saw. And the last parameter I didn't mention was the global pan up here. But that's pretty much it. The link to purchase is going to be down in the description. I highly recommend it. There are tons of samples to choose from, and it's a super quick way to get interesting sounds. Again, this is Patrick with New Nation signing off. I'll see you in the next one.